project we are having today, the demonstration, um, is in the context of uh, a pilot project financed by the European Parliament to stimulate the cooperation between three agencies to work better in the field of Coast Guard. This is a new initiative which I think is very important and one of our tasks is to utilize remotely piloted aircraft systems to the benefit of those three agencies and their cooperation with member states. We are very happy with the cooperation that we have with the Spanish authorities, so I really want to sincerely thank INTA, but also Sassamar and the Spanish Customs for all their efforts and the time they put into this demonstration. Because without their help, it would not have been possible to show this capability today. To give a push to the three agencies, the European Fishery Control Agency, Frontex, the, 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 the European uh, Border and Coast Guard Agency, and EBSA, the European Maritime Safety Agency, <coughs> to work better together and uh, to organize more synergies uh, at the European level. And that we started to do. Uh, and one of the products of that cooperation is the demonstration that we are having uh, today. We are, of course, always looking at new ways of uh, surveillance and monitoring fisheries. We will assist member states to find or to find where and when we will have the most use of these services. Just as we do with the fisheries patrol vessels and with the air surveillance and with any other kind of inspection that we may do on land or at sea. Eh, estamos muy interesados en el tema de los drones, eh, pues por lo que es nuestra misión, ¿no? es decir, que el salvamento de la vida humana en la mar y la lucha contra la contaminación pues son dos eh, parcelas que, que, que creemos que los drones es el futuro. INTA has been working since a long time ago to integrate our pass in non-segregated airspace. In fact, we have been working from certification and qualification point of view. The use of RPA is for us, uh, it's I think it's a very important that uh, could be with a multi-purpose uh, use. So we can share the cost and the use of the RPA between different agencies, as for instance, the maritime uh, people that is uh, taking search and rescue, customs, and police, or any other agencies. So uh, the use of RPA is, uh, is, is probably made to save cost and to make uh, efficient use of all the all the assets. Um, for this uh, complete exercise, we had to define an exercise area and safe area and a special corridor connecting to um, uh, the exercise area with Almonte, where is right now the um, uh, base of the one of the contractor. Uh, you have the plane, obviously, you have the, a, a main gimbal with multiple sensors inside. You have other sensors on board that are not on the gimbal, like the AIS, the EPIRB, or the SAR, um, then the communication segment, etc. So that's the, um, the air uh, segment. Then you have the local ground segment, which is uh, basically how you operate the system. In this particular condition, uh, we have brought a, a mobile configuration. So we have a van uh, fully prepared to operate the system where the flight crew uh, resides and where a pilot controls the flight of the aircraft, an operator controls all the sensors, uh, and a mission commander controls the entire operation. What we'll be using today is uh, called a Scan Eagle. It's uh, five feet long, 10 feet wide. Uh, it can fly in uh, 40 knot winds. Uh, the distance that it can go is uh, 100 kilometers uh, or 50 nautical miles. Uh, depending on the configuration, the endurance can be anywhere from 15 to 24 hours. Launch system is a very unique launch system uh, as well as the recovery system. That's what really sets us apart from all the other companies. Uh, our launch system is uh, uh, pneumatically actuated. Uh, we uh, launch the aircraft depending on the weight and the atmospheric conditions with a certain pressure. Uh, that puts us in the air. And on recovery, uh, we have a, uh, it's uh, basically, it's called a sky hook, but it's a crane a rope system. Uh, when the wing hits the rope, it slides down into the end of the wing into a uh, wing hook. And that's how it hooks the aircraft and then we lower it down. Uh, the VIDAR is uh, one of the best uh, instruments we can use for a maritime sensor. And what the VIDAR does is it, it's a two camera system. They're in tandem. Uh, the VIDAR is in the back and a regular EO camera is in the front. 
The VIDAR camera in the back will do a 180 degree sweep every 30 seconds and pick up any contact in the water, no matter what it is. Uh, confirm, moving two nautical miles uh, south. Okay, copy that. Sí. A la Mac, a la Mac de control. A la Mac, sure. eh, Sí, ya tenemos el vídeo de nuevo reflectado. ¿Qué pide esta ¿El que eh, ve una, una, la, una cámara está mirando a la otra? Afirmativo, afirmativo, es a mí. The registry you see is two, two or three. No, it's not like anything going on. Aquí lo malo que tenemos nosotros es que podemos dar las coordenadas, pero solamente...